damn time. How you feel? I feel great. You know, kind of like what Forrest said last weekend, we're from Iowa. We don't get tired. We live for this two out of three, but I wanted to make it two. Make a statement. Create that separation in this rivalry. It really was a big difference training the Hawkeye Club this year. Huge difference. Love it. They're great. You talked about your chest being ripped, about your heart being ripped out of your chest. Was that just last year's final X or the open or when? Uh, definitely last year's final X. You know, you're so close to making a team. You're so close to making that next step, being a world champion, being an Olympic gold medalist. But you have to get through this. You have to get through, you know, a world bronze medalist to even make the team. You know, that's how great our country is. Um, so that was a dagger. First match went kind of similar to how it went at, uh, in Bulgaria with that dump. You gonna work on that a lot? No, no. Actually, we've just been working on our fakes, our motion, um, just being the best wrestler. And if that's open, then great. Just present it. I'll so. take it. Yeah. Okay. What word you would you use to describe the, the your cl your club and the, the wrestling room in there? Now that you've had three girls on the world team. How would I? Yeah. What that? word do you use to describe it? I don't think there's a single word. You know, we're all committed, dedicated, fun, passionate. You know, just LFG all all the way around. You were ranked number one pretty much all last year. You are one of the best girls in the world, but this world team set the final one carrying back that you can just now go compete for you with a world title. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm excited to, you know, age groups are awesome. You know, I had U23s as well this summer, but you know, to get that senior world gold, that's the thing. So kind of stick, it's one of my favorite movies. And uh, you know, my little thing, that's Haley Graham. Uh, but she says like, let it rip and that's, Exactly what I did to just let her off it so well. Did you envision it going like that? Yeah, we did a lot of stance and motion, um, just feeling it, feeling the face, feeling the snaps. And you know, Perry says like, no matter who it is, whether it be Mallory Belty or the number one girl in the world, at any weight, you know, give me Kawhi, whatever. If my fakes are going and I'm making them move, I can take down anyone. You've been to, as you said, a lot of uh, age level world championships, but. Either side of you bookended by Hawkeye Girls. What, what does that do for you mentally? I mean, like in the room? Well, I mean, in the room and while you're there in Kazakhstan, all of it. I mean, just, all right, so in the room, you can either kill or be killed, you know? <laughs> you know, one day, Forrest is going to kick my butt, the next day, I'm going to kick her butt. You know, same with Allie, same with Beck, you know, so you have to get better unless you want to just get beat up on all day and then going in with you know I live with Allie like we share a house together you know I train with us every day so being able to go across seas and compete with them by my side like it's just gonna be comfortable you know it's our family how much does it help knowing you have a couple teammates going to Kazakhstan with you oh it's great you know I don't have to worry about finding a different training partner that I'll feel good with you know some training partners you know the drilling's weird you know I my main drill partner for the past two years has been Forrest and we're 62 and 65. Do you think more women will be coming to Iowa City now? I don't know if many can survive there. You know, uh, it's it's a tough place to be. You get you find dark places that you never thought you'd find, and I don't know how mentally tough some people can be. You know. Are they scary places? Describe those places a little bit more. I mean, nobody likes to feel weak or feel vulnerable, but those spots are exposed every single day in practice. So you find them and you make them home, you know? And so as I'm walking down the tunnel, Forrest is saying, go to that dark place. Mallory won't find it. She won't know how to live in there. So you find that dark place and you're fine. Wow. Yeah. Keep talking about Kayla Miracle 2.0. Um, at what point did you feel like that you're a whole different wrestler? I don't know when the, the switch kind of flipped. Um, I think just preparing for this tournament, you know, I had the Open U23 trials and then World Team uh, Challenge tournament. So just, seeing how much better I've gotten um, in just the smaller aspects of wrestling. And then just going into this, I, I decided I'm not gonna let what happened last year happen again. I didn't want it to be that way, so it had to be a new person. Absolutely. It's a small example of Kayla 2.0 compared to Kayla last year. Finding that dark place and embracing it. You know, wanting to, wanting to be there. I would never, college Kayla wouldn't like that at all. I love this. I love it. LFG. Thank you.